sounded unreal and um with school and everything i didn't really think that it was going to like develop into what it is now because looking back like literally two weeks before we were mosh pitting on a basketball court because of like a really big game Mayor has announced two more people have tested positive for the virus. Literally every day we learn a little bit more about it. A dangerous virus is spreading rapidly in China and U.S. officials are very worried that it could come here. Um, well, my family moved everyone to our lake house in Michigan, which is like three hours away from home. And so that was really hard, I feel like, because it was like... It was so far away from everyone and everything, and even though people around couldn't see each other, it was really hard just knowing that everyone was near the same spot, and I felt like I was really alone. Alone in Millennium Park. I came here in a little space of my own here. Kevin Iromlu sat in one of Chicago's most public places, contemplating his isolation. These places that they are meaningless without the people. It's sad that they see that this uh, problem that we're facing is affecting everyone's life so gravely. I was more worried about my grandparents more than anything. Um, also, I know some people, um, like my friend's mom has a um, immune uh, disorder, so that was definitely hard on their family and just trying to like take all the precautions, but knowing that there's something you can't really avoid. My grandpa, my grandpa, if he ever got it, he would just die because, and that's the harsh reality, so that's not, that's not something you want to hear, but that's the truth, and so luckily he took those precautions to keep him safe, but of course he's been missing out on almost an entire year of his life, so. So my mom comes home, she wasn't feeling good one day, goes into work, they come out and test her just to be safe, and um, it was rapid tests, and she finds out that she does have corona. Cove 2. It belongs to the family of coronaviruses, named for the crown-like spikes. Today we have 140 COVID patients in a 213 bed hospital. I think it's only gonna get worse before it gets better. We all get tested, my dad, my brother and I, and my older brothers are at college coming home. My mom has been quarantined in her room the whole time. We're just continuing as we can in the rest of the house. And then we get tested. The test comes back. My dad and my brother are positive, I'm negative. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm immune because I'd already been exposed multiple times. I'm just like, I'm immune. Um, and then she tested me and it came back positive. And that was when I was upset because I had another 10 days from that. I'd already been in quarantine at this point for at least 10 days. So it's just another 10 days. And it was one of the most traumatic moments of my life. What were the stigmas about the coronavirus when it first broke out? Um, I think a lot of people didn't take it as seriously as they should have, and that's why we were, um, that's honestly why we're still not able to come back from this now, and literally February. Um, um, I was like, it's like the flu, like this isn't a real thing, and then I was like, um, we're gonna go on spring break for like three weeks. I was pretty excited about it. You know what, honestly, I'm not really a person that panics too much. So when it first happened, I wasn't too scared because it didn't feel like it was an immediate threat. And then as I kept watching and realizing that more and more people were getting it, I started to get increasingly more worried because I have an autoimmune disease that um, impacts my lungs. I tried to, as much as possible, stay in the moment because there's nothing I can do except wash my hands, wear a mask. So I tried to take all precautions that I could, but um, it depended on where I went or who I heard had it uh, and how worried I felt. The pandemic itself, what I've thought about is, um, I think it's been a huge life changer for many people. In a lot of ways, it's benefited a lot of people. In a lot of ways, it's ruined the lives of a lot of people, whether it's with jobs or relationships or anything like that. And obviously it's hard, but you have to learn of the goods that you can take away from it instead of focusing on the bads. 